Then Vivek left the Ministry of Truth and went back to the space that was not a space. From the Provisional House he looked into the Middle World to find the eighth and final and mightiest monster called Gulgamor Jill and more. The wise must look elsewhere for this string of power. Vivek called to his side the Horta Tor, and this was the first time that Nerevar had ever been to the Provisional House. He had the same vision that Vivek had so many years ago, that of the two-headed ruling king. Who is that? he wondered. Vivek said, the red jewel of conquest. Nerevar, perhaps because he was frightened, became vexed at his lord's answer. Why are you always so evasive? Vivek told the Hortator that to be otherwise was to betray his nature. Together they moved into the middle world, to a village near where Vivek had been found by Iem and Set. The eighth monster was there, but he did not act much like a monster. He sat with his legs in the ocean and with a troubled look on his face. When he saw his mother-father, he asked why he should have to die and return to oblivion. Vivek told the eighth monster that to be otherwise was to betray his nature, since this did not seem to satisfy the monster and Vivek still had a touch of Iam's mercy, he said, The fire is mine, let it consume thee, and make a secret door at the altar of Padhom, in the house of Boethi Ah, where we become safe and looked after. The monster accepted Muatra with a peaceful look, and his bones became the foundation for the city of the dead, Anon Necrom. Nerevar put away his axe, which he had at the ready, and frowned. Why, he said, did you ask me to come if you knew the eighth monster would give in so easily? Vivek looked at the Hortator for a long time. Nerevar understood. Do not betray your nature. Answer as you will. Vivek said, I brought you here because I knew the mightiest of my issue would succumb to Muatra without argument, if only I gave him consolation first. Nerevar looked at Vivek for a long time. Vivek understood. Say the words, Hortator. Nerevar said, Now I am the mightiest of your children. Let this sermon be consolation to those who read it that are destined to die.